I do uh, mixed media uh, paintings mainly on boards. Um, I pretty much stopped using canvases years ago because I find that the boards offer a lot more support for me to be able to secure a lot of heavier items on them versus using a canvas where you really can't get that, um, that, that depth and support in the background. So I'm calling the show Nature is Pattern and uh, most of the pieces have been influenced by nature and they have um, a lot of um, collage work where I've secured things that are found objects or twigs and seeds and the like to them to make patterns. One of the things that people always tell me about my work is that it's very textural. So when they'll see a piece hanging on the wall, they'll say they're not quite sure what it's made out of. So it, it engages uh, the viewer to, to get closer and try and figure out what exactly is that made out of. Some people will think that some of the pieces are made out of paper or fabric and they don't realize that it's actually things that are glued on and they're you know, assemblages. So it really brings you in and, and engages. The, the audience. So this is actually a layered piece. The bottom, the bottom of the piece, the first layer is actually uh, acrylic paint. And one of the things that I do um, that I'm known for is that I actually paint the first layer of all my paintings with my hands. I don't actually use um, paint brushes. So if you look really close, you'll notice you'll be able to see my fingerprints because that's, that's the first layer of all of my work. So I put that layer on first, then I have a second layer that's actually, um, this is actually tissue paper. And then on top of that, I put twigs, and then um, these, these seed pods that are on here. And then the final work is actual um, dots, because I'm very, um, very fond of polka dots. It's one of the things you'll find in most of my pieces that I put dots, and that's kind of the last thing that I that I put on here. And um, I also use a lot of um, metallic paints. So when you look at my work in certain light, you'll be able to see um, kind of you know basically different colorings. Sometimes they'll look brighter or shinier and the like, depending on um, what kind of lighting you're looking at it in, whether it's natural lighting or um, whether it's uh, fl or fluorescent. And people always ask me, do you put every dot on in your on your work individually, or do you? They tend to think of like Jackson Pollock, where he's like throwing paint on work. And I say, no, I put all of my dots on anything individually, and I use the opposite end of a paintbrush to actually dot everything on there. So it's really. Um, most of my work is pretty labor intensive. Um, I will only work on pieces for one to two hours at a time because it's um, the heavy patterns can kind of play tricks with your eyes sometimes and give you a bit of a headache when you're actually in there working on them. So I generally work on a few pieces at a time where I'll uh, start gluing things down and put something aside and then work on something else. So, cause it's very detail oriented. So I try and give my eyes a break and um, Otherwise, I don't want to overwork pieces as well. I think when you do this kind of work, you can have a tendency to not know when to stop. So that's uh, something I've kind of learned over the years is to tell myself, okay, it looks like, looks like we're done. When you think you're done, you're done. I really you know, encourage people, to, again, to get up close and personal and really look and see you know, what we've put together.